Cut the soles, ears, nose panel and head centre front pieces out in the colour of your choice. For the nose we use the soft piece of velcro. Trace your pattern piece on the velcro and cut it out. Cut squares and also longer pieces of different colours of fabric. The pieces that you have to connect should all be the same width. Arrange the fabric blocks on the body back pattern. Keep in mind that you need two pattern pieces. This will be the right side and the left side of the back panels. Sew the blocks together in their different rows. Use a 1 cm seam allowance and fold the top row over onto the next row. Use your pattern as a guide and mark as you go where the stitching should start and end on each row. When you turn your fabric over to make the marks, remember to turn the pattern piece also. Do your back stitching a little bit further to both sides of the marks so that you know that your seams will still be secured in case you have to cut through your back stitching. Now you need a little piece for the bottom here. Make sure that this piece is big enough to cover both sides of the pattern. On the one panel the pattern should face up. Trace the pattern onto the back side of the fabric so that you can see where your back stitching starts and ends. On the other panel the, the pattern should face down. You can fold the pattern on the grain line mark to see where your grain line is. Cut the back panels out. Make sure that your pattern fits exactly onto the pieces. Check all the seams to see if they are secured on the edges. Fold the dots over and stitch them 1 cm seam allowance. Trim the triangles on the edges. Do the same for the body front panel pieces, left and right, and also on all the other pattern pieces. Cut 2 mm into the fabric on all the notches. Pin the front and back seams of the legs. With right sides together, pin the curves of the ears. With right sides together, pin the hand pieces to the arm panels onto the placement lines. Sew them with a 1 cm seam allowance. Then fold them over to the bottom and press the seams and then attach them on the curves by stitching it on the edge. Then trim the edges. Pin the head center front piece to the side pieces. Start by pinning it at the bottom and at the top and then make the rest fit in. Keep in mind that you have a 1 cm seam allowance so make sure that the edges will fit onto each other at the 1 cm seam allowance point.
On the wrong side of the nose back panel, draw a 1 cm line against the dot, fold it over and then sew the dot on the line. Clip the corner of the dot and press the dot seam open. Put a pin into the center of the nose and then put it through the point of the dot. With the point of the nose on the dot, pin or glue the nose in place with double sided tape, then sew the nose around the edges. Sew the curves of the ears and then trim half of the seam allowance away. Turn them inside out and press. Finish the top patchwork pieces of the arms for the front and back panels and then attach them to the bottom. Then pin and sew the front and back panels together and then trim half of the seam allowance away. Turn them inside out. Pin the sole to the leg with the center mark of the bigger curve onto the front seam. And the center mark of the small curve at the back seam. Do this to both legs and pin and sew them all around. Then turn them inside out. Pin and sew the head center back panels together with a 1 cm seam allowance. Sew the bottom seam of the side front panels. The nose back panel circle is bigger than the curve where it needs to fit in as a result of the seam allowances. Clip the curve 4 mm all around about every 3 to 4 cm to make it easier to fit the panel in. Pin the dot seam and the bottom seam together, then pin the top marks together and pin all around. So a 7 mm seam allowance. Fold the nose panel over on the dart seam. Mark 1.7 cm down from the nose point. Then put a pin in 1 cm from the mark to the side. Mark where the pin is on both sides. Lay the panel flat and draw a line between the marks. Sew the mouth in with a satin stitch. Test this on a scrap piece of fabric. The stitch width that I use here is 2 mm and the length is 0.5. Sew from the nose point on the dart seam to the mark at the bottom and then stop. Then start to sew at the one side of the mouth to the other side, touching the middle stitching. Glue the stitches at the back. Pin and sew the body center front seam. On the center back seam of the back panel, Mark the opening with a pencil and then pin and sew to both sides from the opening marks. Stuff the arms, legs and ears. Sew the edges closed and sew a tacking line 3 cm from the edge on the arms and legs to make it easier to attach them to the body and about 2 cm on the ears. The ears should still be able to fold after it is stuffed. When the ears are stuffed, Fold the side over on the mark and then sew it on the edge to keep it in place. Make the marks for the eyes 4.5 cm from the nose panels up on the center front panel next to the side seams. Use an awl to make the holes for the eyes. Keep in mind that the eyes should fit tightly so do not cut into the fabric. Put the eyes in by pushing the point through the hole and then push them further by a screw motion. Then put the washer in at the back. Pin the ears with the folded sides down onto the side panels next to the center front panel and sew them on. Sew the neckline of the front pieces together and do the same with the back pieces. Sew the arms and legs on the body front. Note the direction of the arms and legs before you attach them. Thank you. 
Open the head, front and back seams together and also the neck seams on both sides. Pin the bottom front and back seams together then pin to both sides through the legs and sew the bottom seam. Note that the sides will stay open. Pin and sew the side seam from the leg all around the head to the next seam on the other side. To make this step easier, first pin around the head from the one next seam to the other. Pull the legs through the back opening and push the one arm into the body. Then continue to pin the rest of the seam on this side. Sew the seam with a 1 cm seam allowance. Pull the arm and other foot out through the back opening and push the other arm in from the open side. Pin the rest of the seam and sew it. Turn the teddy inside out. Fold the back seam on the one side of the opening to the outside. Pin and sew it as far as possible to make the opening smaller. Stuff the head through the opening at the back and then stuff the body. Close the opening by hand stitch. Cut the fabric of your old clothes and make a special oats memory bear.